Junpei? You took off that fast and you still haven't gone inside? Well, I mean, it's kind of... We'll wait outside. It wouldn't be good for all of us to charge in. I agree. Go on, Iori. You go in, too. Her damaged endocrine system and other internal organs have completely healed. She's still weak, but there's no more danger of her dying in two years. Shidori? Is it really you? I'm not dreaming. Am I? Dreaming? <laughs> it's true. It is you. Chidori. Uh, who are you? Huh? W what? I thought so. Transmogrification is the proof that one lacks potential. I had a feeling this might be the case. This is Kirijo-san and Iori-kun. They were your friends last year. Friends? <sighs> My name is Jidori Yoshino. I'm sorry. It hasn't quite hit me yet, but I guess I don't remember anything of the past few years. It's like I was having a really long dream. Jidori Yoshino. It seems all of her memories after she awakened to her persona are gone. She remembers everything that happened before then. But as for you all... <sighs> Iori... Nah... I think... It's better for her... That she doesn't remember... All that stuff about the fighting and... The suppressants... When you're having a nightmare... It's better... To be able to wake up... I didn't say it was a nightmare. Don't put words in my mouth. It was a dream of meeting a kind, warm person at the end of a long tunnel. I can't remember it clearly, but I wanted to make him happy. And I... I think... There were flowers. A room filled with them. Ugh. Chidori! Take it easy. Don't force yourself to remember. Flowers in a room. If she can remember that part clearly, then maybe... <gasps> Do you remember how she'd occasionally use her power to make flowers bloom again? She'd always do it for the flowers in her room on the days when Iorikun would visit. And she would always spend more time on the flowers she received from you, Iorikun. She never even looked at me when I brought them in, though. <laughs> now I see. Any flower she touched would be mysteriously preserved. I ended up keeping them all for my research, but after the autopsy, I put them all on her chest as a tribute. Now that I think about it, that must have been the night she began to transmogrify. The power to share one's life with others. Could she have reclaimed the life energy she'd given to those flowers? Well, there's no real proof. But compared to her previous state, she's changed. The loss of her power is part of it, but furthermore... Excuse me? Are you talking about me? We were talking about how you want to live now. Hmm? What do you mean by that? Of course I want to live. I have to find the person in my dream someday. I don't have time to lie in bed forever. Supposing you do find him, what will you do after that? Well... <sighs> that's none of your business. Chidori. The strength of two hearts connected brought about a miracle. Or, rather, a victory. No. <laughs> Chidori. Hey, hey. W why are you crying? 
I... I can't help it. I... I've... I've never been so happy in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> Have some self control now. Let's go. Hmm? <laughs> 